Hello everybody, this is Ryan Sessions and this is going to be a first series of YouTube videos that I'm going to be uploading to show some of the things I've learned along the lines of software development um, with websites. So uh, the goal here today is to discuss more um, about Angular and .NET development. Um, I do not have a script for this. I won't be going by any kind of um, template or anything. So um, let's just jump into it. Um, I know a lot of these videos on YouTube have long introductions, so we'll just go ahead and skip that. Um, to get started, let's just open up Visual Studio 2017. Um, I am using the Community Edition because this is my personal computer, so I don't have any of the uh, luxury of having the full-fledged um, system, but really you don't need it. So we're going to go here, new project. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building a new web application using the .NET Core framework. So right here, .NET Core, don't select the .NET framework. That's going to be a .NET Core web app, but using the traditional .NET framework. I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, Angular Tutorial. And we'll create a new directory, but not a new Git repository. Okay, uh, we're going to start with uh, an empty application, so we're not be going to be using any templates. We're going to be doing this completely from scratch. And uh, if you see me um, tabbing over to an existing project, um, that's because uh, there's a lot of complications with building one of these from scratch, and so I would need to use something that I've built um, here recently for reference. So right now we just have one web application. and. Uh, Let's go over the folder structure. So we have our dependencies in here. You'll have your NuGet dependencies, um, any kind of server dependencies. So we're looking at um, C Sharp DLLs primarily. Um, you have your properties. So this will just tell you how to launch the, pro the project um, primarily with IIS Express. Um, obviously, this won't go into effect when you deploy it to a, to a production system. Um, www root this is your actual content folder so this is where your virtual directory is going to live within your hosting so for instance I'm going to be using IIS Express or Azure so your www root is where all your finalized application um, files are going to live uh, your program CS so with .NET Core um, there's no specific host that you have to host it in everything gets hosted as a an executable and that executable is going to be this program.cs so you can run this as a console application, you can host it inside IIS, you can actually probably d uh, deploy it to Linux, so they say, but I have not tried that. So, And then your startup CS. This is what happens when your application actually starts up, not when it gets deployed, but when actually it gets reached for the, for the first time by somebody. This is the, the startup that, that it goes through to handle all your request pipelines. So this is what, uh, if you follow along with with Microsoft, this is where they say Owen lives, um, O-W-I-N, it's their open web interface for .NET, um, other known as middleware. This is where you do your dependency injection, um, you do your logging setup, um, you pretty much just configure your application. For traditional .NET developers, um, this is pretty much the equivalent to the global.asax file um, that you used to have with web forms. So, um, I'm going to try and keep these videos short and sweet, um, that way I can break them up so that you don't have to watch an hour long video and skip through to try and find out what's relevant. Um, you'll just go through and, and pick whichever video you want to see. So uh, let's keep this, this video short, we'll just throw some, some base files in there so that you know what they look like and then we'll do some cleanup. So first what I'd like to do is let's just start with the cleanup because that's easy right now. So we'll just right click on the project and we'll manage our NuGet package. I'm not going to be using Application Insights because I don't want to connect this to Azure just to see who's using this site. It's only going to run on localhost, so we really don't need that. Um, there are a couple NuGet packages that we are going to need though, and that's going to be Microsoft.ASP.NetCore.static files. What this does is allow us to host static files instead of um, having everything that has to be um, compiled and executed on the server. So for instance, this could be um, HTML files instead of uh, CSHTML or um, ASPX files. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. 
since this is an Angular app, it's it's going to be considered a single page application. Everything's going to live in an index.html file. So in order for your web server to serve the raw HTML file without having to go through some compilation pro uh, process, we're going to need this static file handler. That way, we ask for index.html. It gives us index.html. Simple as that. Um, another one on here. I, I guess this is the only dependency we need. So we can go into our program.cs and we're going to delete this line that says use application insights because we removed that dependency. And let's just right click up here and say remove and sort usings for the things that we're not actually going to be using. I like to keep my code pretty clean. So let's go ahead and compile and see if we have any issues. All right, it succeeded. So let's uh, continue the cleanup with the startup.cs. So for the startup.cs, um, we don't need any any services. You guys could go ahead and keep this code in here. Um, just for reference, if you start doing dependency injection later on, you can start putting that in here. Um, this is going to be all Angular for me, so uh, I'm not going to be doing any C sharp um, dependency injection in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that just to keep it clean. Um, we're not going to use any of this stuff. Um, no logging, none of that. This is just for tutorial purposes. So what we are going to do, though, is we are going to say we're going to use the default files. And unfortunately, it doesn't know what this is. So hopefully we are able to, to resolve this somehow. Let's just keep moving on and we're also going to be using static files. And my IntelliSense obviously is not uh, not the strongest right now. So so let's go ahead and let's let's see if it builds anyways. So it still builds. I'm not sure why uh, we have these uh, these red lines, but let's go ahead and let's just throw an index.html file into the www root just to make sure that this this works. So we're going to just look for web, we're going to look for an HTML page. Uh, let's just call it test HD HTML, it doesn't have to be index. Um, we'll just put foobar in here and let's go ahead and run it. And let's just put slash test.html. And there it is. It's it's serving up our static HTML file directly from the www root folder. And everything compiles and runs fine in IIS Express. All right. So we'll be moving on to Angular in the next video uh, for now. See you next time.